Well, I haven't I haven't the time to write the notes, so we'll write them together. All right. <laughs> that will be the exercise. Because I do not think like these chapters also like, I don't know. It still makes that feeling about it. It's I like, see. yeah, I thought it was more like a, a prescription chapter. Like, I don't know. Like, if I mean, you want to do this, you should do this. <laughs> yeah, I, I think like one part I feel is lacking in this life cycle is like you are still walking alone a bit. Mm -hmm. I think like a life cycle should include other people that you're working with, but uh, mm -hmm. I spend most of my time now correcting other people code. I mean, correcting is not the right term, but yeah, <laughs> improving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's easy to improve when you have the first version also, I think. You know, when you are like, you have that also like, I don't know, you probably su 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 supervise like students also. And they provide mm -hmm. still a first version. And it's easier for you to make like better uh, improvement if they provide you something instead of like just writing plain pages. I always feel that like I'm, I'm better at improving something that's starting from nothing. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Anyway, I will share my, my blank screen. <laughs> and we got it <laughs> quickly, hopefully. Is this like a new section of the book? No, that makes sense. I was kind enough to try uh, our studio. I just check it out to a new branch. And we are this is blank. <laughs> so we need to fill out. What do you think are the learning objectives? I have my idea, obviously, but um, so it's not how to determine the package version. Yeah, I think this is a good one. Determine package version and how it matters and why it matters. Yeah. Yeah, I guess why, like the. Uh, Syntax. So deal with me. I'm not an English speaker, so I will, I will okay. do plenty of uh, English stuff. <laughs> not in English stuff. Well, plenty of typos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's okay. Our studio has spell check. Okay. How to determine package uh, and white matters? Maybe differences between um, major and minor and patches. Difference between uh, mm -hmm. major, major, uh, major, like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. major like that. Yeah. minor update yeah we could also like have also development but i think it's too much on the learning objective mm -hmm. um how to communicate to users your package state i guess i don't know i don't know what to uh, call like the uh, uh, i will go with like um Maybe before that, maybe we should go with um, mm, yeah, there was something well, the breaking that. change, breaking, and the yeah. breaking change, breaking and backward. Oh, yeah, the backward. yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, learn, it's, it's more like learn about, yeah, breaking change and back world competitivity, back. Mm -hmm. well, Probably like that. Yeah. Okay. And then I think I hate like this, uh, you know, this markdown uh, that you need to uh, <laughs> have, have two space. Oh, man. Like oh. That. Yeah. <laughs> that catches me out every time. <laughs> well, yeah. this is, I think it's fine if in the list, you don't have to. Uh, as long you as know, you have a space between the first item in your list, as long as you have an empty line between the first item of your yeah. list and the previous text. Like, uh, I think <laughs> the Markdown plugin of Emac, like, write them for you. Mm, so if yeah, that's you, nice. Uh, like, if you, if you press two spaces and go next line, you will do, like, uh, a return sign, small return sign, so you know it mm -hmm. here. 
Mm. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely nice. confusing. So, yeah. The white Maybe they have it, like, confusing. you know, in your studio and just do not know where it, but yeah. Anyway, so it does not like that. Uh, so yeah, we had one more, I think. Uh, that's uh, you get and it after like learn about breaking change and backward compatibilities, how to communicate them uh, to users. Yeah. Okay, users. So I guess this is good learning objective. That show we already so. learned it a lot. Introduction. I think we can skip this one because that we basically what we have in the summary. And no. we get straight jump to package evolution. Yeah. I think the main point of this one, I will say, I will go on because it's, it's like um, the numbering of the package. I mean, at first, like, uh, they said like a package is evolving, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I don't know what's to, and you have like various level of evolution: the trial level, the developable. I mean, the the source package of it. And I think I miss one. So the cran, the uh, unofficial mirror from cran, and the official development. Do you think it's matter too much on that? I will skip that. Yeah, I think for this one, the main thing was like that you can visit that Cran keeps history of good packages point. on GitHub. Mm. I think that was the main thing, which history. I wonder why they chose to use GitHub. I mean, I think they use bus. Before yeah. they use it like um, another system, I still think that they use both. Yeah. It's trending it... in my in my um, feed. You should yeah. stop using GitHub. GitHub is evil. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you should use Kotberg or whatever. Like it's trending now. So I I feel I feel yeah. bad of of feeding Microsoft uh -huh. and slaving the poor tech worker. <laughs> 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 Okay, Siran keep every keeps, I guess, with an S, keeps history of package on GitHub, and you can access it. Yeah. Which is uh, which is kind of awesome and cool if you need to run some backward compatibility mm -hmm. stuff like and rebuild some package. It would be a nightmare, by the way. Like, you know, if you have like a package that have a lot of dependencies that you will have to go to the dependency of this package. That's, yeah. I assume like this pack stuff help, but like it's, it should be like mm. very hard. Anyway, package version numbers. This one was good. I like it. It's, even if it's simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like how they talked about the S3 class. Um. I didn't so, understand the um the hyphen. I've never seen anything use hyphens before, but they said uh, don't use it, so it like, like, doesn't matter. But <laughs> <laughs> like one take is uh util offer like um util version. I think it's saying that the hyphen is another way to denote the development number. Hmm. I think it's it's work for boss, like you can probably do zero iPhone 9, iPhone 1. I mean, I can try oh. if you want. Yeah, you should try. <laughs> Utils. Uh, what's the name of it? Package version. Package underscore version, yeah. My God, why do you uh, like... No, it's... Is sure it's this one? Because it does not yeah. like it. Package That's underscore is what they use. Yeah. 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 I mean, they said utils. So that is this one. So this one, like... <laughs> I don't know. What? Wait, wait. Huh. Do you have like an older version or a newer version? No, like it's a good question, but like this is a breaking change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me try. Like, there's like a stuff here. There's a footnote about it, but it doesn't say anything more. 
No. Yeah. Well, let's go. Is, is it like, I don't know. I've loaded nothing. So this, and utils is the basic one, no? Yeah, it's the, the base like, one, yeah. Let, let's see like if package version is something else. It's look like package version from documentation from base. Hmm. Yeah, I get error. It's not a uh, package underscore version is not an exported object from namespace utils. It's weird. Are okay. you in a package project? No, I'm not. So let's try that. Yeah. Let's try it with the, the underscore, then we'll try without it. You're in a project. Maybe it'll work different for you. Yeah, that's a good I'm point. in a project, yes. Yeah. But I have nothing loaded. Uh, so let's go zero, nine. I'm not, oh, wait, yeah, you can send more than one argument. OK, yeah. Yeah, weird. I wonder what it. OK. Should I'm I try that? The source. The uh, package source version. The like, what does it tell me? Well, it's not the same, so I don't know. What's utils? Hmm. Yeah, it's weird. I'm going to look. Everyone's gonna look. <laughs> I mean, it's look, it's bad. No, they said it like here. So maybe it's not util. Maybe it's not utils. Let's call it. Uh, if it's bad, it should work like without utils. It should be loaded already. Maybe it's useless. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's not it's from utils. Nice. It's just from bad. I mean, on, wow. on my you, uh, version, like, on, you can on do it. Oh, it's just from base. Two, two. Go on the like, help page. If you if you do find, go on the help page. Package oh, version. It's in base. Oops. Yeah, that's all. So this seems like something you should put as a issue on their book. To pull request. Oh my god. Then you'll be you an author. One. I I put it's an issue base. on the book. Do you remember from the beginning when we had the uh, something about the library paths? Yeah. And it being like different. And, and they fixed the issue. I, there was like some development on it. So you should do that. I mean, we should do that later. So let's let's go back. So this this is so it's from base, it's not from utils. Uh, boom, Jenny Bryan. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Should be watching. Watch out. <laughs> um, okay. And um, so let's go with uh, just package version. And that's why it's work after because like they didn't include them. Mm -hmm. They might so. already have an issue about it. What is this on? Package version. Package version is from Bez, See. not from YouTube. Oh, no. So package version. Um, um, so and by the way, like we were like, where is this? Uh, let me recall back again. It convert like the iPhone also. You can use like the zero iPhone nine. Uh, I mean the 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 something nine one etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm -hmm. And it convert everything to the that one. Mm -hmm. Function. Oh. Uh, that converts um, strings to S3 objects that deals uh, with um, num numbering version number. Yeah, and I think it's for the order. Let's uh, it's like maintaining check. the right order. Yeah, let's see if I do that. I never know which one it is. 
<laughs> uh, it's a package version and a numeric version. And if I do tip off, it should be a string, no? Yeah, I think so. Character. List. List. Sorry, oh. I'm bad. <laughs> list. It's, uh... That's weird. The list. <laughs> yeah, because. Huh. Can you do you the know, structure of it? Scala does not exist, no? Can you do that? What? What doesn't exist? A scala does not exist, you know? Just a list of one of one. Oh, I don't know. What's the str of version? The what? The structure, yeah. the str function. The str? Oh, sure. Structure. It's a list of two. Oh, uh, it has integers. That's because mm -hmm. I have two, basically. So you create a list mm -hmm. instead of a vector, because like it's probably mm -hmm. have like, well, it's just, a well, it does it has, not like, have the attributes. components. I see. It has, like, the components of each one for, I see. So maybe it's useful for something later, but yeah. It probably, like, pastes them later as numbers somewhere. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, interesting. That's cool. Okay. So it's a function that converts strings uh, to S3 object that deal string with Ether. All right, cool. Uh, let's call it uh, dot oh, to S3 object. Well, uh, and I, let's give an example. Mm. Do that work? I never know. Uh, you need to do the chunk that's an inline r yeah should i do in lag or should i do chunk we should probably do a chunk okay i never know the shortcut i'm a lazy people it's well do you have mac or windows i have mac no it's command is it command My, control it, i it works um i just learned this in my class command what yeah. command control i i think or command option command I. Control. Command option I. Option. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I feel so okay. Uh, let's call it. <laughs> um... I don't know. I usually don't give them names. Yeah, but I should. Uh, because it's out when. Version, version test. Uh, I don't know. Package version. Yeah, there you go. And I will I will add the class because it was interesting, no? Yeah, it was. Or the type of was interesting, yeah. Bus was interesting. Yeah. I wonder what the, the method is for the logic. Yeah. There is logic. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. So yes, this, so this was interesting. Um the idea of the numbering is also a way to communicate to users. Mm -hmm. Should I go into that? Go into what? Like this is also like another stuff. Uh, uh, the numbering yeah. system, numbering system, help communicate change and evolution. Dot nine thousand for. I think that comes up later. That's come later, so. Yeah, you know and, and, yeah. So do we have to use all the? I assume this is package version now. Now we're on tidyverse package version. What's package version is? So tidyverse it's package. In it's in base. No, Wait, what? look, this one is in package version. Uh, is in utils. What? This is another one. So you have package oh, the, version. The capital you one. Package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Oh, let, let's add it. So package version, and then uh, deployer, and then. Oh, 
Oh, it gives you the same class if you use the utils one. Nope. Oh, yes. It's, is, it, is it like the same class? Yeah, the same class. OK. So check. we should add that too. So package version from utils. So here I should. Uh, allow, allow this to um, get the version of a package. Does it have other, other interesting use or just this one? Oh, you can specify the library. That mostly it. I'm going straight to the example. Feel bad about it. <laughs> it and yeah, package description seems to have more stuff. This use is interesting. So you can use it to check uh, if uh, something is installed with certain version and probably like do some codes. You know, like the if package is below something, then you should like update mass. Or you, you let's say like you are using a package that have two different functions that change it, so you can manage that here mm -hmm. with this function. Version yeah. of a package, I would say. Uh, useful. Yeah, let's, let's talk about that later a little bit. Do check on. Uh, Packaging function. Okay. Let's go back to the book. I wonder how they got their book to work. What? Utils. I wonder how they got their book to work with the utils. They must not have actually found the code. You still on the uh, oh. want to submit this issue? <laughs> kind of. You, yeah. I do mention um, like later on utils package capital V. I guess that's what you're just talking about there. They mention it where? Uh, so it's in package version number. And then it says in your own code, if you need to determine which version of the package is installed, use utils package capital V um, version. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, 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 they're wrong on this one. They are, yeah. They're sort like package version underscore and packet versions camel case while it both in yeah. util, but the one is in base. Well, there was some other issue. <laughs> I don't know how. Wait, how do I do it? Issue. New yeah. issue. Uh, are we good with this part? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You're very buggy. I think like we are you know, too low, so I can remove that. Okay, um, well, nothing, yeah, I, on the tidyverse conversion, I have nothing to say except like this, I guess. They just said, don't use the minus, I think. The, the hyphen. You know, I like diversity. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, recommend not using the hyphen. Okay. That's basically what they said. Yeah, um, and I guess they have plenty of experience, so. And always use three numbers. Even if. Uh, At least three. And four if you're in development. Is, uh, that's, that's what they say. Is accepted. Uh, it is, uh, is not recommended. Recommended. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Okay. And then they say use at least three, like decimal places or like full stops, I guess. Yeah, what do you call that? So you have like a main, major, a minor, and a patch. Use at um, least three numbers, values. I don't know what to call it. Yeah. 
four I mean, four it's here and kind have of, a development. It's three different. components. That's what it's they three. call it, components. Use three, three components. At least. At least. Um, uh, four components. At least three components. Yeah, at least three and then the fourth for development. On your um, numbering system. Yeah. I was wondering at this part whether if you did you know just use two decimal places by mistake could you go back and correct that or what is it once it's in crayon is that kind of it good stuck? question I don't know. do you want to add that question to jenny yeah do oh. it okay <laughs> <laughs> do it we haven't added we won't all of our questions are like from the beginning of the book <laughs> we should add one from this one Okay. Yeah, no, I, I think like um, my question will be like, uh, like will be more general because I do not have like huge habit to work with other people. So I think we should design some question around that. Like, how do you uh, uh, in the package, how like do you, uh, I don't know, is it like someone supervising everything or like do someone is working on some work and how do you organize the workflow? Or, who's supervising, who's not supervising, when do you like check the issue to correct them? More like mm -hmm. uh, some, they have huge experience on that and dealing yeah. with that. And it does not, I mean, in the book, they do not share too much about it. Yeah, more like the product management. Yeah, or just work yeah. as a team. Yeah. Anyway. Let's move to backward compatibility and breaking change and breaking change. Right. That's where um, we like said, like, should we add some, is it here like the minor, minor version, my, uh, major version and uh, whatever? That's in the next one. Next one, okay. This one just says, Um, let's see. The angles to assess impact. Concrete examples of breaking change and then things that are not considered breaking. Yeah. So they have like three, three big lists that are kind of like the takeaways yeah like let, let's first like maybe what we should move away from, i mean this first stuff maybe we should organize is saying like improving something is not a breaking change or adding a new function is not a breaking change like yes, what so do you want to start with what that? is not a breaking change or a backward compatibility okay let's start yeah we can start there uh oh so, yeah So adding new function. Mm -hmm. so we have adding an argument. Adding an argument does did not increasing set of inputs. Increase the um, which I guess is more general than like if for example it worked on let's say data frame, no it work on list, or if it just worked on vector, no it work on data frame or something like that. Oh. Yeah, maybe this could be a breaking change no i was taking it as a bigger <laughs> like bigger set of adding an argument but i guess increasing the set of valid inputs yeah i think that's what you're saying like it works on more than the original type yeah and then like i don't know why i to see i'm breaking but yeah okay um, and then if you do that, no worry. But sometimes uh, they can break things. <laughs> but see, okay. This says, yeah, I mean, there's you a few more. Much. Yeah, that should be right. It says, <laughs> says changing the text, like of a message or error, and fixing a bug. Yeah, fixing a bug.
So. Okay. Now let's deal with the rest. So it says, well, it only gives concrete examples. Obviously, there are more than. So does it give a definition? If you want to, okay. A breaking change. So breaking means the code still works with the new version. The code works in exactly the same way in all contexts for all inputs. Then it's not a breaking change. Yeah. Yeah, change that is not backward compatible is often described yeah. as a breaking change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a bit circular. Not backward compatible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a little circular, yeah. I guess that's why the topic has both of the names. Okay. That makes, that makes sense. Like, um, yeah, they're complements of each other. So what should I put? Just say uh, breaking changes. The not. code still works, but could produce a different result in some edge cases. No, that's, 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 backward that's backward compatible. Backward. Yeah, I think it'll be like- So it would, it would be like the code breaks in a lot of general cases. Yeah, so people okay. that have been using like a previous version. If, Introduce um, a break. Introduce, like, yeah. We'll break like people's how, code, I guess. <laughs> it's like how ggplot, they, are deprecating what is it there's something with the lines I, I think it's size they're deprecating the size argument for gm line to be line width and so eventually anyone who says size it's all gonna break yeah <laughs> so yeah. a breaking change will not allow reproducibility of previous cuts yes with future with like new versions yeah uh, later on, they have a. Um, this leads to yet another deeply pragmatic definition of breaking change, which is a change is breaking if it causes a CRAN package that was previously passing our command check to now fail, and the package's original usage and behavior is correct. Is it somewhere? I, I, I didn't that? understand that. Yeah, you can quote it. <laughs> I didn't really it? understand <laughs> that. Yeah, it's a sense of. How does original uses Jim Badge is correct? Because yeah. I thought our command check just checked like if things were all like dandy in the where package. are you from this, this this huge stuff? Where is it? Um it's right before the next section. So oh, okay. Maybe that's something I asked Jenny. I didn't really understand that quote because from what they've been talking about, our command check. A, this is a bit more like a provocation, no? Yeah. Does yeah. our command check like look at old versions of your package? Oh, so what they do is they run our command check on all the packages that depend on theirs when they make a change. And if it Whoa. breaks the. Oh. Good. I think that's Good what point. About. that helps a lot. <laughs> so it's not, yeah, it's not like CRAN itself doing it, but I think they're just they're running okay. it. So it's checking like the the forward dependencies as well. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Change and some and other package on CRAN. Um. Which yeah, relies okay. on your package that depend on it, but uh, pass any more the air command check. Uh, I guess. Okay, some example. Um, I don't know if I have an example until like later. 
Uh, no, but I will just add like removing a function, obviously. Oh yeah, they have examples. Removing function, removing argument, narrowing this. Basically the opposite of what we said. Narrowing the set of valid inputs. Yeah, I remember at the very big, well, earlier on anyway, that they say it's easier to sort of add things and to, to remove, so start off small. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're using infrastructures. That's what they say. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're on the major minor patch. Yeah. So. Well, I guess I I thought it was like a pretty good breakdown of when you should increase each number. Mm. Yeah, I wasn't aware of that. Living in the small <laughs> world. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, th I thought they did a pretty good job. I mean, yeah. it seemed like this I could use like this advice. <laughs> yeah, just the definitions they give, I think, of those three things. And then and then they give the function to use to like put it in your package code. Package documentation. Yep. Uh, measure all these. Uh, should I add like major minor like this way? I think so. And then I think you can just add like paraphrase their page. Ma yeah, I'm just thinking this, if I follow the same order and I think the same order is correct. Yeah. Patch release. Uh, small uh, release. Um, I mean, small. Yeah. Small but bug fixes, like... really. Something like that, just bug fixing. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Then we have a minor release. Like your, your social activity is a bit too low, you release a patch release. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. So this introduce. Yeah. This Still. is basically everything that's backward compatible. Okay. Uh, and then the major one. Yeah, major yeah, effects. It's kind of to many users. Like that. Yeah, get it bold. Yeah. Bold and emoji. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, I, 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 like yeah, I didn't like it. Let's see. I, I think it does. It, yeah, I think it does matching one at a time. Yeah. Try to be smart. You shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't. Be be basic. Be simple. Okay, major release. Uh, that change. Change affects most users. effects yeah. which i guess by effect they mean like it's not reproducible yeah yeah also i feel like also like yeah i don't know yeah i like the idea of stable ipi also mm. you know, like stuff yeah. can change some function can change you From, can access other stuff yeah but 
between like version X, but yeah, yeah, okay. We're good. You know, when you, let's say you made a package and you're ready to release it, what number do you, do you say on like 0 0.0.1 or? Yeah, I think that's what he added. So what they say is you start at the development, I think. So 9,000 number. Until you have this stable like user facing interface. <laughs> Yeah, mine right. is like you reach a major release when you stop developing, when you just like can you know waiting for pull yeah. request for like yeah. So if you start like say you're developing it, you have zero point zero point zero point nine thousand, and you might increase that nine thousand number up whilst you're doing ah, your you can, stages. <laughs> you can increase like the 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 minor. That's what they said. Passion. Yeah. You can have like nine thousand one. Yeah. That's, that's what but then what do you like? Then you're ready to go. Do you go like zero point zero point one or zero point one point zero or zero? Oh, when you're 0. when you're ready yeah. to go, I think you go to one point zero point zero. You jump right. directly. Yeah. Because I've I've definitely seen like zero point nine point zero version <laughs> things before. Oh. So. It's, oh, I, yeah, I, I I, you know, they might be following a different convention, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's move before like uh, Lauren slips. Packet version mechanic. Well, uh, okay, so ni nice function, use version. Oh, yeah, you should put in the use this thing and, uh, before you end this section. You can use use this use version help you you track on it like there's an underscore yeah there's an yep. underscore in you Okay, cool. And uh, it's needed as also somewhere here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Pro and con of breaking change. Okay. Of BC. Uh, oh, the other thing. With the development version, would that be say if you if you're doing this all on Git and GitHub, you have mm -hmm. like a development branch. That branch would be the 0 0.1.0.9000 0 .9, kind of thing. Or is the development thing did. just when you first start making a package? I think the version is just for the the ad. The ad can be the development. You know, mm -hmm. like in git in git you have like the head which is basically the pointer in the graph where you are and this yeah. is the head that matters you can be like let's say in development some version and have like few versioning back into the main the production main one mm. i think this is what they use but yeah they never mentioned branches that's a good question we should add it for Jenny. <laughs> okay. Well, I have nothing to say about this one. Like, I, I think like the all of it is deal with it, no? What should I do with these parts? Be mindful. It needs to happen. <laughs> There's nothing to, to say too much about it, like, you know. Like the difficulty is like maintaining backward compatibility. Okay. And more people are using more backward compatibility you need to. I think also like if you introduce too much change, people will start using your tool because 
they will bother like to rewrite their code every six months. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Nothing too much to say about too much about it. Oh yeah, they started by saying like you um I you use R, let's call that. Do not uh, bother too much of the versioning of the package. And they should. And that's why they should use a version uh, a package, let's say a package managers like RAM. Mm -hmm. So we should say that. Yeah. Use R usually. Uh, do not get enough of the version uh, of, the, uh, of the package I use. Run is an option to keep track of it inside of a project. I have mixed that feeling about wrong, but yeah. Okay. And then um, I think we're good. Yeah, the last section is quite long, but it's just like I, I mean it can it can be deal with it. It's like their functions. <laughs> it's yeah. kind of like, you know, at some point change will happen. You need to be careful when you are doing it, but, and we will provide you tool to help users deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair. Provide okay. users fair warning and time. Yeah. See next part. Okay, this is a life cycle stage and badge. Okay, I can add that. Uh, so use this provide like this nice function. Is it use this? Yes. Hmm. Um, it's life cycle. Use this like oh, package. Use this life. Oh, it's a use no, underscore no, life cycle. Yeah, but like it's probably a package life cycle behind the scene. Yeah, life cycle is the package. Wait, where are we? I'm lost. We are still here. Life cycle page. So I should I should talk. We're on pros and cons still, or we're on life cycle stages. Uh, life cycle it's... stages and supporting tools. Yeah, it's it's in the same places. Oh, I see this. Use this, use life cycle. Okay. I will. Yeah, life cycle is a package, and I guess yeah, that's just some. Okay. Some. Uh, so should I go with the experimental, the uh, deprecated, stable, and supersede seeded definition? Stable. Chat is here. Also, my computer is gonna die. I'm sorry. I could get my charger, but too lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I think like I will just paraphrase it. Like uh, it's good to know when a package is experimental and stable, but it's kind of related also with the numbering system. Yeah. It's just like another way. Uh, to me, I feel it's another way to communicate with the users first. Yeah. I'm here. You know, um, like sometimes when you do things in say dplyr, like you go. Um, trying to think of an example i don't know let, let's just pretend pivot longer one is you've got like pivot underscore longer yeah but sometimes you'll have pivot capital like camel case pivot longer yeah. and then you'll say deprecated is that what this is doing it's like adding a badge to the function or is this adding a badge to the no. that package version this oh. is on I, I i to my understanding this is at the package level Right. And then you can deprecate at a at a function level. Oh, okay. 
but it's good remark. So let's start with saying that like you have, you can deprecate at the package level and at the functional level. Well, I think, I mean, it goes into package level, function level and argument level. You can have mm -hmm. badges at all three of those levels. Yeah, yeah. Badges. Uh, find more at. Function. Um, I will say like uh, life cycles. Um, how can I say that? Like uh, the it can be uh, at the package function, and you had another one. I think Torin level argument. argument. Sorry. Argument. Arguments levels. So this is okay. Okay, okay, okay. At the function level. Oh. It's on description. Okay. And it's right directly into description. No need to go too much into detail on that, I think. We lose Robin, but that's fine. She's eating. I think uh, she's had her laptop was almost out of battery. Uh, um, so I think it might have just died. <laughs> Let's go with deprecated function then. Yeah. I think we just need to complete that and we're good. Okay. So life cycle of a vignette, read it. Deprecate one. Okay. I think it works if I do that now. I'm not. I had a nice, um, I was doing something today and I had a nice warning about how something was being deprecated. I'll see if I can find it. I mean, in the special world, we are full of deprecated stuff. And yeah. I like, produced <laughs> a warning. <of> deprecated. <laughs> yeah. It's, this is the one I had up, up in the chat. Yeah, that's good. So we can use it uh, as an example. Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. It's nice because it can it told you what you should be putting. <laughs> where it's like where you've got to use where. Okay, you can generate. Yeah, generate warning and message to the users with life cycle. Kill package. And Okay. Might have it's seven of emoji now. Yeah. Okay, so we good. So this is it. So life cycle deprecate warm when what with in detail. So the deprec let's let can we click on it? Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, it controls the level of warning. Okay, so just the level of warning. I will not add it. I didn't think it's war, mm. but yeah. 
Okay, you should graduate the response. <laughs> you should graduate the um, warning. And then deprecate an argument. Okay, I will go. I will I will skip it because it's late. Cool, cool. Uh, this one is quite quite verbose. Yeah, it was a chunky chapter. It was I think most of it was fairly yeah. sensible. That made sense. Okay, let's deal with it. This one is more important, like dealing with change in dependency. So at least it should be mentioning, uh, because like sometimes you are not the one who's doing change, just the dependency that you are using is using change. Mm -hmm. So I think this is important because it's less common in your mind in our mind. Okay, what if you use functionality in uh, functionality? Uh, you are using um, is uh, go, no, mm, uh, will be deprecated, will be changed. The unhappy change. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. See that this is like uh, this is like the idea. Like you can use if package version, tac tac tac. Use that, then use that. I will copy past because this is one option. I think if you're starting doing that, you will do a lot of if else. Yeah. I think it's this one. Okay. Sometimes dependencies do feel a bit like, I don't know if you ever played that game Kaplunk, where you have like yeah. these sticks that are going through in a marble and you've got to pull out sticks without the marble dropping. I, I, well, I, a lot of time I just using base, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I see that. You know, yeah. it's too much stuff. Yeah. When I was writing my function, I was like, oh, it's so easy to do this in deep like using dplyr and stuff and then it's like but they change it so often maybe i'm just doing base r so i don't have to yeah this works all the maintain. time the same and <laughs> yeah sometimes you don't want to do super setting a function so this is like the case of like this pivot widers pivot spread hmm. nest and unnest in tidier yeah they provide legacy stuff yeah so let's just deal like superseding a function exists also. Because they used to have melt and cast, didn't they? Is that what? Yeah. Was that them? That package? Melts. Oh, no, spread and gather. That's it. Oh, before it was spread, yes. Spread and gather. 
Yeah. And now it's pivot longers and no pivot wide, a bit uh, pivot wider and um, pivot longer. Pivot yeah. longer. Yeah. You know what? I'm still using merge. <laughs> But uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't remember I like what, what's, the, what's the equivalent I, of base R of moving from column to line. Oh, it, I had it today because I was having the. I, I've just been spending a lot of time pivot longering so I can create like a nice flex table of demographic yeah. data. And then I looked up some examples, and one of them was the base hour way, which I've forgotten, but um, it oh, looked way easier. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I was actually using ChatGPT to help oh, with some good. Of that stuff as well. I found it really helpful, though. Like, it would just be something where it just wasn't working. I was like, ah, maybe this thing can help. And you know, when I was a master student, I had a friend who was working, like, he's an, well, he's an anthropologist, he's a researcher in anthropology now. Uh, mm -hmm. He wasn't at that time. I mean, he was an anthropologist, but not a researcher. We're just master students. And he told me, like, never copy past anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you still live by these rules. Yeah. But uh, like that's it's most rule. of coding, though. <laughs> but coding does it come to? I don't know. I, I try yeah. to. I try to not use it too much. But yeah. Uh, okay, super setting, and we good. Um, how can we tell that? Like, sometimes a change need like a function need to be changed to another one, and. I don't know. Without paraphrasing all the sets, it's difficult. Yeah. Um. I mean, let's try to preserve all behaviors. Yeah, I guess it's where it's basically like people still might like using it, but you want it, people to know that it won't be developed anymore. Okay. I think it's good enough. I will I will post it. Great. <laughs> right away. Oh, let's try to compile it still. Yeah, it's always worth checking because <laughs> no package book book down, so I have not installed this. Yeah. There'll always be like a a missing yeah. carriage return. <laughs> anyway. Let's see. Build knits, you will ask it. It works. Nice. So you know what? What's that? Uh what's the... Um, life cycle. Life cycle. Um, I never know the GitHub stream. I think there is such shortcut for it, but yeah, it like to do a pull request or yeah, it will do everything. I mean, it will. Mm. Ooh, uh, I think this is origin to chapter two twenty two. Yeah, origin and. Beam, okay. Sweet. Let me go straight into GitHub and I will assign you as a reviewer. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it's, can I check my last commit? No, I can't. Uh, is it somewhere? Yeah, it's here. The remote is here. Perfect. Oh, it's mine. I would like the other one. Come on, should work. Mac, stupid Mac. It's work on Linux. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so uh, yes, I do not care to update. Um, quick update, quick live update. Chapter 22. I can't assign anyone to the review. I can just oh. create pull requests. I think it. I think it will then go through like a series of tests, like and I one of them is John has to check your... it. Yeah, yeah, it's go like I wanted like to ping you, but I can't. <laughs> yeah, strange. Okay, it's the, it's good. Sweet man. Anyway, uh, awesome. what, what's happened? For... Let, let, let's check what's happened next week, Ebony. Yeah, we've got one. I think it's a less chapter. So maybe when does Jenny come. No, seriously. We got releasing to Cran, and then after that it's references. Oh, there is an appendix on our command check. Okay. But do we have someone for next week? Oh, good question. <laughs> for. Oh, is that Torrens name I see? Yep, Torrens signed up for it. Okay, so let's not move now and I will remind at the end of the week. Cool. Do you know when Jenny's um supposed to be coming along? We should we should sing some question like uh, I will I will I will um I will add some like just now uh, where is it the package? Why is it so more red? Can I go into here? Oh, okay, I got it. Um, we should start brainstorming. Yeah, we have more questions for Jenny. Start <laughs> brainstorming. Good question. For Jenny. Mm. I mean, what's the good question? It's kind of stupid, but saying good question, but yeah. <laughs> no, let's just just that's just, just a stupid one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um so who is next week uh, yeah so next week's torrin oh it's torrin perfect okay I think what good question, like at least we had that on my team. It's like, should we, um, like we have, you have like basically some pipelines that are just the learning data, but the data can change. And there's some function to adjust to that. So sometimes it's just a script. Sometimes it's a, it's a, fun, let's say a package. And sometimes mm. we work on a project and people like build a bunch of functions that are useful for those projects. And the question is like, do we like, for example, build a big package or do we try to build smaller one? Mm. What's, the, what's the deal when you should like focus on like consolidate a big one or when you should like just separate them? And yeah, this is like a question like we have a lot. Yeah, definitely. Uh, some indication on all like at one time it makes sense to, because like, uh, 
we are, I mean, at least on my team, we are developing package to solve issue like for next week. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> or, or maybe not next week, but maybe in, in one month. And yeah. um, and so we do not necessarily have like the, or we should uh, set up times to have like the time like to think, oh, seeing common pattern into what we are doing and building this pattern into package but yeah yeah so this is why yeah. because like, i think like the way they introduce the the idea of package is more like you have an idea to solve a problem build the package but sometimes it's more organic i don't know if it's clear yeah definitely i think it, it sounds kind of like um the situation they had with dev tools where they ended up splitting yeah. it up into like use this and all those so i think that probably started off organically and then they're like shit this thing's a monster <laughs> so i think it's a good question it's not um my phrasing is maybe not correct but i will add it yeah, uh, yeah. big package versus small one and we can it's 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 an ecological uh, rule no did you remember yeah that? yeah a uh, single large or several small yeah yeah <laughs> it was a debate in the when i was a student i don't know yeah. if it's still a debate but yeah anyway i will where is it here question for jenny uh, single large oh toy like filled filled out Single, large, or several, small. Uh, no. uh, yeah, I was typing away. So. <laughs> That's fine. I will retype it, you know. Uh, okay, that would be good. I will remember that. I think it's late. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrified of writing something and then like, coming when jenny's like oh so what what's this question and it's like I will, I will, I will. let's do the first guy said it <laughs> yeah yeah no no it's like yeah it can yeah i know it's kind of it's it's a real tech in ecology i think no yeah 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 i think that they call it loss yep loss debate it's even of his wikipedia page I will, yeah. I will post it in the, um, <laughs> in the, in the. Yeah, that's right. We had um, a debate on that for uh, marine reserves in New Zealand. And it's like, it kind of depends what you, your conservation goal is, because, you know, if you have lots of small ones, but you have broadcast spawners and all of those eggs are just getting washed out to, to see and not go into a protected area, then you know, do you get the recruitment back in and all that kind of stuff? I think the several small win, but mostly because it was easier to manage. The yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the true reason was like mostly. Eh. Yeah. We can do the several small. We can't do the big one. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And yeah, I remember doing like edge effect stuff as well. On um, yeah, we have a, a volcano called Rangitoto, which is a, like a big shield volcano just in the Auckland Harbour. And um, you got all this. It's we did some like a, a undergrad studies there where you'd go out and measure, um, because it's all lava field. You just yeah. have these small vegetation clumps, and you'd measure the size, and then look at um these vegetation islands and see what kind of diversity you'd get and you'd always get in the smaller ones you'd have heaps of weeds and stuff because you've got like a higher surface area i guess of um of, of invasion to be able to go into yeah. it kind of thing yeah yeah it's it's in islands it's even particular because like you have like the, well the island effect yeah yeah, yeah. This is kind of idea, like also like the white space does not count. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I've got to go to bed. <laughs> cool. Cheerio. Good talking and thanks for um, hosting yeah. as well. Bye. Yeah, it was a fun session. Yeah.